Hello there, this is Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to learn all about MLA, Style of Documentation, Step-by-Step -step Forms for Entries. So let's get started. So first of all, what is MLA? MLA stands for Modern Language Association Style. MLA style is the norm for the humanities and fine arts disciplines. To quote, summarize, or paraphrase outside sources when writing your paper. Sources must be indicated by in-text citations in parentheses. Fingley and Rubens, page 536. So the next question, where should the list of works cited go in your paper? When readers find a parenthetical reference in the body of a paper, they can turn to the list of works cited at the end of the paper to find a complete publication information for the cited source. Fingley and Rubens, page 536. So this is an example of works cited in a paper. There is a format on how to write the works cited. And we're going to look at that right now. So, elements in works cited entries. So, what do we need? So, in this case, we're going to cite a book. So, number one, we need the author's name. The list of author's name with the last name first, followed by a period. For example, Shakespeare, comma, William, period. Then we need the title of the book. So, find the exact title on the title page. Separate the title and subtitle with a column. Print the title in italics and a period at the end. Example, the tragedy of Romeo and Juliet. So you can see is in italics. Then we need the publication. Include the place, name of publisher, date of publication, format of publication. Use column between the place and the publisher's name followed by a comma and then publication date. Example, New York, colon, Washington Square Press, comma, 1959, period. So let's take a look at some examples now. So we have Glick, James, Chaos Making a New Science, Penguin, 1987, Henley Patricia, The Hummingbird House, McMurray, 1999. Gillespie Paula and Neil Lerner, The Allen and Bacon Guide to Peer Tutoring. Allen and Bacon, 2000. Next up, entries for print periodicals. So first, the author's name. List the author's name with the last name first, followed by a period. Syringen um, C. Jan. Next, title of article. Place the title of the article inside quotation marks. Insert a period before the closing quotation mark. So example, feminisms and composition in quotation marks and then a period. So number three, publication. Underline or italicize the title of the journal. Add volume, number and issue number separated by a period. List the date of publication in parentheses followed by a column. List the page numbers followed by a period. Include the format of publication. Example, college composition and communication. 53.3, 543-51. Print. Don't forget the column and the period. Let's look at examples of entries for print periodicals. For New Music, James TV makes a too close call, time, 20th of November 2000, pages 70 to 71. Backman Dana, a special education, good housekeeping, March 2006, pages 143 to 148. Entries for electronic sources. So first we need the author's name. The list of the author's name with the last name first, followed by a period. Number two, 
title of document and or website. Place the title of the article on the web page inside quotation marks. Insert a period before the closing quotation mark. Write the title of the entire site in italics followed by a period. And last, number three, publication. List the name of the publisher or sponsor of the website. Give the name of electronic publication. Provide the format and list the date of access. So let's take a look at some examples now. Example, Smith Sonia. Biting the hand that doesn't feed me. Internships for college credit are a scam. Slate, WP. And 1, 8th of June, 2006, web, 24th of July, 2006. Another example, Feluga Dino, Guide to Literary and Critical Theory, Purdue U, 28th of November, 2003, and then the website, and then accessed, the 10th of May, 2006. So now let's recap, right? Yes. So what do we need first? We need the author's or editor's name. Number two, we need the book, journal, document, or website title. And number three, the publication information. That's all we need to quote a book, a document, a journal, or a website. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have any questions, please type them under this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I suggest you do. If you liked the lesson, hit on the like button, please. And you may share the video if you liked it. Have a great day. Until next time. Bye-bye.